Hey everyone, um, we're going to do this week's change log. I'm Bree from the Solana Foundation DevRel team. And my name's Jacob. And let's get started. We're going to start with the SIMDs for this week. So for SIMD163 to lift the CPI caller restriction, in summary, it's just to remove the check that forces the CPI callers to have the program accounts of the callee available to them in the instruction account. Um, so now you just have to pass the program account when the CPI is called. Do you know why that they were able to remove this? Because they already passed the program account in the CPI. So in the instruction, they're able to just reference it from the CPI call. Okay. So when you say the CPI, that's just like on the actual program itself. Yes. Okay. So they're just like referencing and pulling it down. That's cool. All right. On the commits this week, uh, so we have this thing that keeps seeing pop up. It's called the hash cache tool. It looks like it's just for like diffing state between accounts hash cache directories. So that's pretty cool. It's a new tool within the Solana tool suite uh, that looks like the uh, what accounts DB team has been working on. It's good to see that thing. Uh, then another commit, which is actually fun to look at because it's remove 1200 lines, add 12. <laughs> it's remove the vote buffer and just send all verified votes to the, to the banking stage. Uh, this was able to be removed because they already have the votes in the banking stage. So it didn't make sense to have a buffer both within, I think it was this go yeah, a gossip as well as the banking stage if it's just duplication and effort. So it's a large amount of code removed from the, the code base or the validator. And now it should be a decent amount faster because they don't have to go through two buffers. And then what did you see this week, Bree? Yeah, so the new concept and plan for the program SDK um, originally, the Solana program SDK was part of the Agave Validator monorepo. Um, so it was always convenient for validator developers, um, but not so convenient for on-chain program developers um, because it's release cycle, it's tied to the Agave Validator. Um, so it's not possible to easily release breaking changes. So the new plan is to prioritize on-chain program developers and build a new program quickly and easily and have minimal dependencies. So the plan is to break it up. If it can be reasonably used independently, then it gets its own crate. Yeah, this is a proposal for a plan even. like So if you have any suggestions or comments on this, it's great to have them. Um, this is how Solana program development or smart contract development might go in, in the future as well. So the resource of the week is going to be Lucid. Um, Lucid is a new way for local program development and testing. Um, it is uses the magic block validator, so it's optimized for speed. And it also enables you to clone accounts and programs um, pretty easily. It has flexible state management. You're also able to reverse um, to previous block heights. If you're interested in seeing us, like we're, we we will have done a live stream with Thorsten last week uh, of how to how Lucid works and all the new features. Uh, definitely check it out, and we, we we will be going through all the different things that are new as well as old, so they can kind of understand the power behind Lucid. And then this week's Stack Exchange rankings, we have Jimmy up top, uh, Mitch, which I haven't seen before, so it's great to see new contributors. We have John, Ari, looks like Jonas and Emils are back as well. Uh, just as a side note for everyone, uh, this is how we make Solana development better for everybody in the future, so that you, when you Google your questions or your errors, you get answers versus having to dig through discords or search or et cetera. Um, so definitely help and contribute. And with that, that's all we have for this week. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.